What's up, DDD family? Welcome back to another exciting episode. I know you guys have been a few weeks since I put a video up, but as you can see behind me, the car is missing. Uh, dropped the car off last week at GPI, Guadney Performance Innovations, to get the transmission redone because I've told you guys in the past that the transmission was messing up. I also got a converter done and a trans cooler to help out. But it's been gone for about a week, and today they called me and told me the car is ready. I'm actually going to be on my way to go pick it up right now. I got Will coming to pick me up. Probably gonna bring the HHR. I'm not sure what he has right there. But yeah, we're gonna get the car and we're gonna do a little short video of GPI. And let me know in the comments below if you guys wanna see a tour of GPI. We're gonna work with them. Like they're working with our club. They're really responsible for us to help us out. They're gonna be linked in the description for any performance parts that you need for your Camaros, Corvettes. They do a lot of Chevy parts. So definitely check them out. Like I said, I'm gonna have their link in the description below. Check them out, check out GPI Swag, and check out some of the stuff they have there. And I just can't wait to get the car back. It's been a week, like I said, and I'm just ready to have the car back. But I'm waiting on Will. We're gonna roll over there and I'll catch you guys when we get there. And we'll... We made it down here. Kevin's in a meeting right now. So we're just gonna check out the car. It's sitting right there. Like I said, it's been about a week since I had dropped the car off. And we got a converter. We got the transmission rebuilt. We got a circuit D transmission rebuilt kit done on the car. And I'm just really excited about it. Uh, I don't have my GoPro, so I won't be able to get the actual first ride on the GoPro. So we just got to wait for that. And maybe have a little bit of fun with the car. Take it down to Mexico. Have a little fun. But... We're gonna go in here, like I said, I gotta wait till he gets out of his meeting, and maybe we could talk to him and talk to the tech that built the transmission, see if they have a little bit of time. If not, then we can just do a little walk through the showroom and show you guys what they got up here. But I'm excited, I'm really excited, can't wait. Like I said, it's been a few weeks since I posted anything, so I wanna show you guys, give you guys an update. But let's go check it out, get the car paid for, and yeah, you see that guy right there? Yeah, yeah, look at him. He doesn't know I'm getting him. Look at him, oh God, yeah. He's all in his phone. Look at him. Yeah, he's a cool guy. He's a cool guy, Will. But yeah, Will brought me down here. So we're going to go ahead and check this out, get the car paid for, and I'll get back with you guys. <laughs> all right, you guys. So we're actually over here in GPI's showroom right now, and he's getting my bill all settled up. But look at this bag. Look at this thing. Look at that. I think it's sick. Anybody in Arkansas knows that car because it was actually built by GPI. That thing is like one of the fastest cars around here. I can't remember the dude's name that owns it, but he's really fast and they have a really sick Corvette too. I'll try to find his name and probably edit it in here maybe. I know a couple of my friends know him. But like I said, we're in their showroom now, checking out all the stuff. Look at that. Got a little GPI swag. Got the hats. Like I said, this showroom, this whole building is pretty sick. They have a state-of-the-art building to build these race cars. And like I said, look at this. This is even sick. Look, check this out. Oh, oh, come on. Come on, camera. They have Z28. Just sitting in the showroom. Sick. Totally sick. You don't see many of those. Like I said, they're really expensive and kind of rare. So you don't really see many of those out here. But also in their showroom, they have this for people that are getting their car dynoed. Like, they actually have a monitor. So they got somebody's Corvette back there getting done on right now. They're not doing a run right now, but they have it in the showroom. So you can sit back here and watch your numbers and everything. That's pretty dope. Like I said, let me know if you guys want to see a tour of this. We're going to try to get one together with them later on this year, maybe, or maybe next year. I'm just trying to do an opening up so people that don't live in the area can see the showroom floor. It's pretty dope. And then we can check out the back, check out the dining room, check out everything they got going on. This place is pretty sick and awesome, and I love it. Sorry, the camera dropped below. But yeah, like I said, I just wanted to give you guys an update. We're going to go back and talk to the tech about my car. I don't know if he wants to be on camera. If not, then it's cool, but we'll see. He can talk to me about what went wrong with the car because I was making a grinding noise, too, and we found out it was like a, a bearing or a spacer. But I just saw a picture of it. It looked weird. It was a manufacturer defect. They took care of it. Got the car back on the road, like I said, a week. Good turnaround, pretty excited about it. And I can't wait to get in the car and drive it. But 
before we leave the showroom, let's get a little bit of montage of the items that they have. Like I said, they're going to be linked in the description below. I'm going to tag them in. You can check out the stuff. Like I said, they have performance parts, and then this is just like their merchandise that they offer, the products they offer. Let's go ahead and get a little montage of that. <laughs> Gotta tell you what I did is kinda evil Could've made a deal with him But honestly don't need to Tell me devil would you give your soul for free Well then come and devil Won't you sell your soul to me Look at this moment in place I'm doing it for the reactions Someone will laugh in your face and Someone will be paying the taxes yeah. I gotta get back in the pace I gotta wait for the relaxing yeah. Why you be napping yeah. Pick up my napkin yeah. Look at this moment in place See that I'm over the taste You could've gone but a fake Love and the words that he says See when I'm up in your place Too many up in your place Too many faces Too many places Please yeah. oh God forgive me Gotta tell you what I did is kinda evil Could've made a deal with you But honestly don't need to Tell me devil would you give your soul for free Well then come and devil Won't you sell your soul to me Oh, it sounds so good. I'm so excited. All right, you guys. So you got the car pulled around. It sounds good. I'm super excited. I can't wait to get in and drive it back home. Like I said, I don't have the GoPro to actually post it up so you guys can see me drive it home. But I will definitely give you an update when I get it back. And might have a little fun on the way home. Not too much. Just to feel it. Like I said, I haven't been able to experience the 391 gears since I got them done since the transmission. We're still messed up and having issues, but like I said, we got the car back. I'm excited. It's been a week turnaround. They knocked it out. I'm definitely excited about that. Want to say anything to people? I'm good. Come on! Hi, my name's Kevin. If y'all need anything, just holler at me. Remember, here's 501 985 4947. Be glad to help you. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it, man, and thank you. Like I said, I'm definitely going to have GPI linked below so you can check them out for all your performance needs. And we're going to go ahead and get in the car and get out of here. Will's about to leave. He just got me all my stuff, and I'm about to go ahead and get in the car. And I want to give you guys not a cold start, but just see how it sounds. Like I said, I'm really nervous, excited, all that. But uh, let me flip the camera over and show you guys. Woo. Sounds good. Like I said, we're going to get in the car. I don't have a GoPro, but I'll let you guys know how it is on the ride. I'll catch you guys later. All right, you guys, so I actually just realized that my traction control button is messing up and I was gonna try to do like a, a little small burnout and try to get the tires warmed up for you guys just so you can see how the car feels. But I'm just gonna do a little roll and hit real quick and get in the second gear and take off in the car and just see how it feels. And then I'm gonna try to do one from a dig. Like I said, I can't do a burnout, so it might get a little swirly, but you know, we're gonna try it out. But like I said, we're gonna do like a second, a second gear pull. right now we're rolling we're gonna drop it down the second and then we're gonna just take off so we got it in third now we're in second that my track control button's messing up right now so I can't really do a little burnout and get the tires hot we're gonna circle back around and try to get like a little a little launch like I said I got the a circle D stage 2 transmission build done with a 3600 stall from circle D as well all work was done by GPI and the car feels pretty amazing right now like I said I also got the 391 gears done by them a few months back in June and I haven't really been able to really get on the car a lot because the transmission was messing up. So we got that rebuilt, we got everything good, and it feels pretty good. So we're gonna circle back around and I'm gonna use the stall. Like I said, it's a 3600, so I'm gonna rev it up and try to take off. And hopefully it's not too swirly, but so far everything feels really good right now. And I'll just have to figure out the track control button later.
Alright you guys, so I'm gonna get in the middle of the road real quick and I'm gonna do like a 3200 launch because it's a 3600 stall, like I said, circle D and I don't wanna get too swirly, so let's see how it goes. Okay, well that felt pretty damn good. Like I said, I revved it a little bit too high and got the tire spinning, but it didn't move too much, so. The car felt good, handled good, didn't get too swirly. Like I said, it's, it's warm out here, so it's actually grabbing pretty good right now. I'm running the Mickey Thompson ET Streets. And like I said, yeah, that felt really good. Like I said, I'm really happy with the work GPI has done on the car. Like I said, I take it back to them all the time. We're gonna try to get a tour of their facility so you guys can see it. For those that aren't around here, they can see their state of our facility. Like I said, in this video, you're gonna see, I walked around a little bit. We're gonna try to see if we can get a full tour for you guys and definitely for any of your uh automotive needs definitely hit them up performance needs they're they're awesome ryan's a great tuner you got james kevin they're awesome salesmen down there they can definitely get you what you need but we're gonna get out of here and we'll do a little overview of the car in a minute and i'll catch you guys in a second <laughs> All right, so we got the car back home. Everything felt good on the car. I'm definitely happy with the work GPI's done on the car. Like I said, they've done the headers, the gears, and now they rebuilt the transmission with the new stall. I'm still trying to get used to the stall. That's why I spun out the tires a little bit because I, I got a little excited and over revved it and started spinning the tires. And the launch wasn't really great at all, but like I said, the car felt good. I'm gonna work on getting the launch better so I can actually get out the hole a lot faster. But other than that, I really enjoy what they've done to the car. Like I said, I'm going to link GPI down below so you can check them out. Check out their website. All your performance needs, they'll get you taken care of. Like I said, they got me rebuilt and back out on the road in a week. And not everything's going to be like that, but they definitely try to knock out everything they can as fast as they can so they can get you back on the road. So I definitely appreciate them. Thank you for everybody at Team GPI, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please go ahead and like this and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll catch you guys on the next one.